And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. And he deals. And that is in for a strike. And this one is off and running. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So oh. tough to get that barrel to. One and two. Tatis waits. On the ground. He's in there. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now the center fielder, Jose Azokar. 1 2 now. Tatis runs. That's it for a strike. Throw. Save. Next for the Padres, Luis Campusano. Obviously, a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Popped up. Albies gets under it. Two away. Here's Manny Machado now. One for four with a double in yesterday's game. Kicks and fires. In the air out towards right center. Acuna has it sized up. Makes the catch. And that is that. And here that is Ronald Acuna Jr. Right field. Ronald Acuna Jr. The 0-2. In the air right field. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. Back-to-back -back base hits. I love that swing, and I'm sure it's hitting. Back in Truist Park, here's Austin Riley. The third baseman, Austin. Musgrove, back to work. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Bangs off the wall. Throws to second, in there safely. Everything came together for him. A lot of times in today's game, right? Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And there's a ball. What a no. Nobody out. Runner at first. Center field. Harris has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. One down. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Grounded out his first time. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And it's out of here. He flexes his power. So man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. One for two. Out towards right center field. Harris has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Well, certainly doing his very best out there. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Here comes a pitch foul ball you know these Padres finding ways to get on base but they still need help driving them home they've had their chances with runners in scoring position but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations and you got to give some credit to the other side as well they've been able to get out of a few tough jams but frustration is mounting for this offense no doubt ground ball right side and it's through for a hit 
Still able to come through the behind center. in the count right there. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the Tatis runs. Pitch is low. Throw to second and great jump. Chavez checks the runner. Tatis dives back in. Tatis stands at second with no outs. On the ground to short. Arcia whips it to first on the run. Throw not in time and he's safe. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Good bad ball hitting right there. Just kind of threw the barrel at the ball, trying to protect with two strikes, and sometimes it works out well for you. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Arcia makes the grab one away. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now it's Manny Machado. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Swing and a ball popped up. And a base hit knocks in a run. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia. The one two. Hit in the air, right field. That gets down for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. The right field. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Now bad. The right field. Fernando Tatis Jr. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. Tatis runs. Pitch inside. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Anderson ready to work. On the ground to third. And this ball's going to wind up out. Back here in Atlanta. Bottom of the eighth. And now, Eddie Rosario. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Tatis going back on this one. Grabs it right up against the wall. Well, four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Into the outfield, base hit. The throw in. Tag. Not in time. Safe. On the board first, it's one zip. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. The flip to second, on to Olsen. That's two. I think four, six, three, double play. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. Next offering is foul back. Fernando Tatis Jr., what a talent, what a hitter, Chris. A guy who's won a silver slugger in bowl 20. Swings through that one. It's just and welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Now in for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. Well struck right field. Way back there. And that is gone. They're going crazy in the dugout. And we're level. It's 1-1.
He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate. Here's Matt Olson. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Matt Olson. 3 2 now. High drive, deep right field, way back there, out of here. Matt Olson blasts one out. His first homer of the year, it's 4 1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, back here at the ballpark, digging in, Fernando Tatis Jr. The right field. Fernando Tatis. The why to kick the pitch. And that's down and away. White Sox traded Fernando Tatis Jr. to the Padres in 2016 for James Shields and cash considerations. Tatis wondered, is it me? Am I not good enough? Well, Boog, I think it was just a mistake by the Chicago White Sox that they still regret to this day. Sure, he was good enough, and he's proved that when healthy as a big leaguer. Tatis waits. Tatis started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swing and a miss. Here's Sean Murphy. He's already homered here in this one. Here's the 0-2. And that one hammered. And it hits the fence. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra big. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. One for three. On the ground to third. Quick feed to second for one. And that's two. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus to push through to the finish line. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Hey, stay hot now. They say you win. Yeah, the infielders oh, and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Bounced up the middle. Arcia on the run. Throw to first. Out. And that is. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. With six hits in the series coming into this one. 2-2 two -two now. In the air right side. Tatis tracks it down for the out. Here Matt is Adam. Matt Olson. The first homer to the ball game yesterday Matt. afternoon. Olson. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Tatis going back. Back some more. Gone. Matt Olson goes deep. His second of the year, and they jump out front. It's 2 nothing. Talk about being locked in at the plate. Most guys have a really difficult time changing their timing for such a slow breaking ball. So first and second with one man gone. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. 0 for 1 so far. Base hit into the outfield. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Ball comes home, and he's dead at the plate. Manny Machado up to the plate. Flied out his first time. Now the 0-1. Hard ground ball, base knock. Here comes Bogarts around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 2-2. Two -two. 
Ha Sung Kim, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The 0-1. And he grounds one back up the middle. Diving! And he can't make the play. In comes the run from second. It's 3-2. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Timing on the swing was... Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. One for two. The right Fernando Tatis Jr. In the air, center field. Harris racing after it. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Welcome back. So here's Murphy now. The catcher. Waka back to work. That one is absolutely belted. Tatis raging back towards the wall. Didn't quite have first and second. Two outs. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Line drive. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. So two down. And next for Atlanta, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 2-2. High in the air, out to right. Tatis drifts towards it. And that's the inning. So digging in, oh, Fernando right Tatis wait, wait, wait. Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And gone! An absolute blast to left. His seventh home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-2. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Lifted in the air, right field. Tatis makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's already homered in this game. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Tatis drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll... Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.